All right, you hosers. What's the deal with Canada, eh? We say sorry too much. We're obsessed with hockey. And apparently, we've got some seriously good grub. Who knew, right? I mean, besides everyone. Seriously, our maple syrup game is strong, but our culinary scene, it's about to blow your toke off, bud. So buckle up, grab a double-double, and get ready for a wild ride as we explore the top 10 must-try restaurants in the Great White North. From coast to coast, we're diving into the most mouth-watering dishes this side of the border. Get ready to drool, because we're about to embark on a culinary adventure that'll make you want to pack your bags and book a one-way ticket to Flavortown Canadian style. First up, we're hitting up Montreal, the land of poutine and joie de vivre. And trust me, nobody does it quite like Joe Beef. This ain't your grandma's dining room unless your grandma was a badass chef. Picture this, exposed brick walls, vintage decor, and a menu that reads like a love letter to all things meat. We're talking juicy steaks, succulent seafood towers, and enough foie gras to make your arteries sing. But Joe Beef isn't just about the food, it's about the experience. The atmosphere is buzzing, the staff is friendly, and you're guaranteed to leave with a smile on your face. Next up, we're heading west to beautiful Vancouver, where the mountains meet the sea, and the culinary scene is hotter than a sriracha latte on a summer day. And when it comes to Indian food, Vijay's is the reigning champ. This ain't your average butter chicken joint, folks. VJ's is all about pushing boundaries and creating innovative dishes that'll tantalize your taste buds. Think lamb popsicles with fenugreek cream, wine marinated sable fish with coconut curry, and other culinary masterpieces that'll make you rethink everything you thought you knew about Indian cuisine. The restaurant itself is as vibrant and colorful as the food, with a modern, elegant ambience that's perfect for a special occasion or a casual night out. Just be prepared to wait in line because VJ's is no secret. But trust me, the food is worth the hype. So if you're looking for an Indian dining experience that's as unforgettable as it is delicious, VJ's is the place to be. Hold on to your talks, folks, because we're about to teleport back to Quebec without even leaving Vancouver. That's right, St. Lawrence is bringing the rustic charm and hearty flavors of French Canadian cuisine to the West Coast. Step inside and you'll feel like you've been transported to a cozy bistro in the heart of old Montreal. The exposed brick walls, antique mirrors and warm lighting create an inviting atmosphere that'll make you want to linger over your meal for hours. And speaking of the meal, get ready for some serious comfort food. We're talking classic dishes like dortier, pâté de campagne and duck confit, all made with the finest local ingredients and a whole lot of love. So, if you're craving a taste of Quebec's culinary heritage but don't feel like hopping on a plane, St. Lawrence is your new go-to spot. Just don't tell them I sent you, eh? I'm supposed to be incognito. Alright, let's be honest. You didn't think we'd get through this list without hitting up Toronto, did you? The Six Ions is a culinary melting pot. And when it comes to fine dining, Arlo is in a league of its own. This place is fancy, folks. We're talking Michelin stars, tasting menus and wine pairings that'll make your head spin. But hey, sometimes you gotta treat yourself, right? And trust me, Arlo is worth every penny. From the moment you step off the elevator and into the sleek, minimalist dining room, you'll know you're in for a special night. The service is impeccable, the atmosphere is electric, and the food? Well, let's just say it's an experience you won't soon forget. Prepare to be wowed by innovative dishes that are as beautiful as they are delicious, all crafted with the finest seasonal ingredients. Just don't wear your Deadpool costume, they're not fans of superheroes here. Ahoy mateys! We're setting sail to the rugged shores of Newfoundland, where the seafood is fresher than a pirate's breath after a swig of mouthwash. And when it comes to showcasing the bounty of the Atlantic, Raymond is the captain of the ship. This place is all about celebrating local ingredients, with a focus on seafood that's so fresh you can practically hear the ocean waves crashing on your plate. Think pan-seared scallops with roasted parsnips, cod cheeks with chorizo and chickpeas, and other culinary creations that'll make you want to dive headfirst into the North Atlantic. The restaurant itself is as charming and inviting as a Newfoundland fishing village, with exposed beams, stone walls, and stunning views of St. John's Harbour. So, if you're a seafood lover looking for an unforgettable dining experience, set your course for Raymond. Just be sure to pack your appetite, because you're in for a real feast.
Bonjour, mes amis. We're back in Montreal, the culinary capital of Canada, where the food is as sophisticated as a Celine Dion concert. And when it comes to contemporary Quebecois cuisine, Toc is the maestro of the kitchen. This place is all about elevating simple seasonal ingredients to new heights, creating dishes that are both innovative and deeply rooted in Quebec's culinary traditions. Think foie gras with maple syrup and brioche, roasted duck with parsnips and cranberries and other culinary masterpieces that'll make you say, oh la la. The restaurant itself is as elegant and refined as the food with a modern minimalist dining room that lets the cuisine take center stage. So if you're looking for a dining experience that's both sophisticated and soulful, Toke is the place to be. Just be sure to brush up on your French because the menu is only available on Francais. Just kidding. They have it in English too, you Oza. Chapter 7. Get ready to reach new heights, folks, because we're heading up, up, up to Canoe, one of Toronto's most iconic dining destinations. Perched atop the TD Bank Tower, this place offers breathtaking views of the city skyline, along with some of the most innovative Canadian cuisine you'll ever taste. And when I say Canadian cuisine, I'm not talking about poutine and beaver tails. Well, maybe a little poutine. I'm talking about dishes that celebrate the bounty of Canada's diverse terroir, from the Atlantic coast to the Pacific Ocean. Think grilled octopus with chorizo and smoked paprika, bison tartare with pickled mushrooms and juniper berries, and other culinary creations that are as bold and daring as a Canadian goose on a mission. So if you're looking for a dining experience that's as unforgettable as the view, canoe is the place to be. Just be sure to wear your stretchy pants, because the portions are as generous as a Canadian's heart. Chapter 8 the Fogo Island Inn, a remote retreat with food to die for, not literally calm down. Pack your bags and grab your warmest sweaters because we're heading to Fogo Island off the coast of Newfoundland. The journey is worth it, especially for a meal at the Fogo Island Inn. This culinary destination focuses on hyper-local ingredients from the island's rugged landscape and waters. Dishes like cod tongues with scrunchions and mousse carpaccio are unforgettable. The Fogo Island Inn is a stunning architectural marvel perched on stilts overlooking the North Atlantic. For an off-the-grid dining experience, the Fogo Island Inn is calling your name. Chapter 9. Edelis. Where foraging meets fine dining. Listen up, you foragers and foodies. We're heading back to Toronto, but this time we're going off the beaten path, literally. Edulis is all about showcasing the bounty of Ontario's forests and fields with a menu that changes daily based on what's in season. This ain't your average farm-to-table restaurant, folks. This is foraging to table with chefs who are passionate about sourcing the freshest, most sustainable ingredients possible. We're talking dishes like wild mushrooms with polenta and truffle oil, roasted venison with beets and juniper berries, and other culinary creations that'll make you appreciate the beauty of nature's bounty. The restaurant itself is as cozy and inviting as a log cabin with exposed brick walls, wooden tables, and a warm, intimate atmosphere. So if you're looking for a dining experience that's both delicious and environmentally conscious, Edulis is the place to be. Just don't ask them about their squirrel supplier. It's a sore subject. Chapter 10, Langdon Hall, Luxury and Farm to Table Bliss. Hold on to your monocles because we're about to enter a world of luxury and fine dining at Langdon Hall, a stunning estate nestled in the heart of Ontario's countryside. This place is fancy, folks. We're talking sprawling lawns, manicured gardens, and a dining room that's straight out of a Merchant Ivory film. But don't let the grandeur fool you. The food is as down-to-earth as it gets. Langdon Hall is all about celebrating the bounty of its own backyard, with a menu that changes seasonally to showcase the freshest ingredients from its on-site farm. Think heirloom tomatoes with burrata and basil, roasted lamb with root vegetables and rosemary, and other culinary creations that are as elegant and refined as the setting itself. So, if you're looking for a luxurious escape from the hustle and bustle of city life, Langdon Hall is the perfect destination. Just be sure to pack your appetite and your finest attire. Outro time to eat your way across Canada. So, there you have it, folks. The top 10 must-try restaurants in Canada from coast to coast. 
Whether you're a die-hard foodie or just looking for an unforgettable meal, these culinary gems are sure to tantalize your taste buds and leave you craving more. So what are you waiting for? Book your flights, pack your bags, and get ready to experience the best that Canada's culinary scene has to offer. And don't forget to let me know in the comments which restaurant you're most excited to try. Thanks for watching, eh? Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more epic food adventures. Until next time, stay hungry, my friends.